Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer, thanks to Tylon Bustamante for this one. Amy uses John Arenicus to donate a Phyrexian Soul Gorger to Nick. What happens during Nick's upkeep? Alright, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is take a close look at the text for cumulative upkeep in the comprehensive rules. It turns out that this is one of those cases where the printed reminder text actually differs subtly from what it says in the comprehensive rules. And it does so, in this case, in a way that makes it really unclear what the answer is. So, if we take a look in the comprehensive rules, we'll see that the choice Nick is being offered is a choice between whether to pay this cumulative upkeep cost or not. Now, if Nick wants to sacrifice some creatures, that's definitely something that he can do. Of course, it would not be possible for him to choose to sacrifice any of the creatures that he had been donated via the John Arenicus, including the Phyrexian Soul Gorger itself. However, if Nick wanted to, he could choose a number of creatures equal to the number of age counters on the Phyrexian Soul Gorger and sacrifice all of them, and that would be a perfectly legal way to resolve this triggered ability. Of course, the really interesting part of this question would be what if Nick doesn't want to do that? Now, we already know that it's against the rules for a player to choose to do something that's illegal or impossible. However, if we take another close look at what exactly it says in Cumulative Upkeep's entry in the CR, we'll notice something very interesting. That being, the choice Nick is offered would actually be a choice between whether he wants to pay the Cumulative Upkeep cost or not pay it. In particular, the choice isn't in between paying the Cumulative Upkeep cost and sacrificing Phyrexian Soul Gorger. It is true that cumulative upkeep, like lots of optional costs, does specify a consequence that will happen if Nick chooses not to pay. However, the way that the game enacts that consequence is by performing a check on what Nick chose, and then using the results of that check to potentially put an additional game instruction in there. The fact that one potential outcome of Nick's choice does happen to lead to him being instructed to sacrifice the Phyrexian Soul Gorger does not place any restriction on which of the choices that Nick is or is not able to pick. Accordingly, it is possible for Nick to choose to not pay the Phyrexian Soul Gorger's cumulative upkeep cost, and if that happens, he'll be instructed later to sacrifice the Phyrexian Soul Gorger. Of course, because of the John Arenicus ability, that is not going to be possible, so nothing will happen. That means that effectively, Nick has a choice between either A, sacrificing a number of creatures equal to the number of age counters on the Phyrexian Soul Gorger, or B, doing absolutely nothing. Now, if this situation was to come up in a real game of Magic, there might be some people who are wondering, well, what if you wanted to sacrifice some fewer number of creatures? And it turns out that this is not allowed. Partial payments of a cumulative upkeep cost including one where you sacrifice creatures, is not possible. So that would mean that you would have to either sacrifice two distinct creatures, if there were, for example, two age counters on the Phyrexian Soul Gorger, or sacrifice nothing at all in that case. And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.